Hello. This is my Max patch that I whipped up in like five minutes to test out this uh, this thing. It's a really cool thing. Um, so yeah, so let's see it in action. On the x-axis we have pitch. And on the y-axis we have volume. And on the pressure, or the z-axis or whatever you want to call it, have uh, vibrato depth. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. But you can do so much more stuff with this. Like, you can use it as a MIDI controller to, I don't know, fade between sounds or um, choose cutoff frequencies or something. Anything you want, really. I think, I think this is really, really awesome. Um, it's very hard to play like this, because I've never used a ribbon controller before, so um, either I'm going to make some kind of step thing so you can actually stop on a note. Uh, but the problem is the um, the plugin, um, what do you call, what was it called? Tablet to MIDI or something like that. Uh, touchpad to MIDI only sends seven bit numbers, so it only sends up to 127. But you can set it so it sends um, 14 bit uh, double precision, well double byte numbers. So um, yeah, that should work. But for for some reason that crashes my uh, my virtual MIDI port thing. So I haven't been able to get that to work yet. But that that could conceivably give me more resolution. So I could have, you know, finer tuning. So uh, yeah, but this is just totally completely awesome. It's like a, it's like a chaosolator. For free. Whoa! Look at that. I mean, the touchpad definitely sends more than 7 bits uh, bytes because it has control the position of your cursor on the screen, so it's only a matter of, of um, sending those messages as MIDI. I have to figure out how to do that in MaxMSP. I'm not sure yet. I haven't used MaxMSP for MIDI quite that much, um, but I'm going to figure out how to do that. But this is totally awesome. So um, You can find all the, um, all the materials I need to make this in the task, in the um, description section, so go ahead and do it.